Hello everybody and welcome back to modeling a Wolfenstein scene. This is it for the modeling and uh, what I'm going to do now is model some documents and books. It's going to be very straightforward and simple. I'm going to bring in a plane, scale it down. And the first thing I'm going to make is a document. set the origin to geometry and I'm going to leave it there I'm going to make it a little bit bigger actually and that is going to be my document right there let's find that and let's uh, let's put that into a collection called documents just to separate it out okay I'm going to duplicate that and move it over here. And let's have a look at these documents. I'll make it just a little bit bigger. I'll make a book out of this. Let's just focus on that thing there. Okay, so I think the way I'll do this is I'll extrude it up like that. Number two for edge selection, I'll select those and control B. Pull them like this and put, I don't know. Can I get away with that? Or do I want it more rounded? No, we'll just go for three. Now we'll go for five. We'll go like that. Okay. I'm going to select these faces in face selection. I'm going to press I to ins. Um, I want to press ID and set, but I want to look here. Get a little cover of a book. E and Alt S, and I'm going to pull. Just like that. And there's the paper. Now, what to do? I need to think a little bit about texturing uh, as I go along. Do I want to separate this or not? And honestly, I don't know right now. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a material right now. I'm going to call this paper. And I'm going to control I. A new one. And I'm going to call this cover. And assign. So if I do paper and I select, I got the paper. Do the cover and select, I got the cover. Just like that. And um, I think I will select this edge and this edge. And we'll bevel this a little bit. Control B. We'll do that. Just give it a little bit of roundness. Which is what I think I'm going to do. Just a little bit. I could have a book like that. And I'll take this one more time. I'll zoom in a little bit more. So I don't know whether I've got a hard cover or a soft cover or, or what. Um, and then this thing, and they're all kind of the same size. Um, I don't know, I could make that a little bit bigger. Um, and this one is simply, it's going to be very similar 
Um, I'm gonna throw on solidify. Let's control a uh, rotation and scale in case it matters. The top cover. Mm. I don't know if I need to bevel that much. What I'm thinking is another one of these, like that. Another one. Let's get rid of the thickness on that. Let's bring it up. Okay, let's just focus on this stuff. stuff here. So that one, that one, that one. Let's apply that. Um, okay. Select that edge of my 3D cursor there. And I'm going to bring in uh, what's a simple one? Alright, I'll just go with a Taurus. I'll go 12 and 6. Set the origin of the 3D cursor. What I would do probably in Substance Painter is I would put a, a circle there in the texturing. All right, I'm not sure I like that yet. with them and then I can use all of these and propagate them around 
Okay, so my person is there. The books look relatively good in size. So I got a document. I've got one with these, uh, you know, yeah. And I've got some kind of a book. Just underneath that dark area. And this is the, the dark area. And that can be adjusted still. Um, I hope that's not too wide. But. I'll do that. And then um, I'll select it all the way around. And we'll bevel. And I'll put one segment in between, just like that. That is my scene. That's what I'm coming up with. And now comes the uh, laborious process of texturing, UV unwrapping and texturing uh, in Substance Painter, I hope, maybe a little bit in Blender. And uh, we're gonna get to that in the coming videos. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope you'll tune in to uh, the rest of this to see how this thing turns out. Take care.